impact impact this is the all-new Arkansas 5 to 20 X now I've had this guy in for about four days now we've had a chance to test it play with it get some initial impressions on this optic there are two different versions of this optic this one is the base model um, it comes with an IR illuminator the other model comes with rangefinder and built-in ballistic app also with the IR rangefinder we've seen a lot of video with this optic on air guns and I was really curious as to how it would perform with a couple of things on a real rifle one thing that I wanted to see was how is that muzzle flash going to affect the night vision is that going to mess it up I wanted to see things like how it handles recoil and does it maintain a zero so we'll talk about that we'll talk about the app a little bit um the zeroing which is it's extremely simple to zero um we'll go over the clarity my the the first day we took it out clarity is not the best because i was still trying to figure out the focus um, but it's still pretty good and then uh, you'll get a chance to see the muzzle flash through the night vision we take it from 300 yards out to 820 yards during the daytime shooting and then the nighttime and low light shooting we're doing at 350 yards so if that sounds good to you stick around and we'll go over the Arkansas. so this is a quick look inside the app and you have 30 different reticle options you've got kill box one that's very similar to the uh, VHR reticle and then you've also got you've got that in MOA you've got that in mill as well and then you've also got um, a basic duplex just a simple cross and then also kind of like a, a T type reticle so those are the reticle options as far as zeroing goes, it's really simple. You fire, um, and at your point of aim, you will freeze the reticle to your point of aim, and then you simply move it over with the app and hit the button, and you're zeroed. You move it over with the app to where your bullet impact was, and then you're zeroed. So it's literally two shots. I won't go over all the reticle options because that would take a really long time, but each one you can select a different color for um, and switch through to whatever reticle you want to use at any given time. This next clip is just a duplex on my back fence and I'll show you a little bit of the IR, some of the different colors and how it reflects off of glint tape. So that guy right there is just a little piece of glint tape. If you don't know what glint tape is, it's IR reflective tape. Put it on my back fence. The Zulus came in today. We're going to check it out. All right, so the next one we've got is just a standard duplex reticle. And then we've got black, white, green, red, yellow, and back to black. And then again on the illumination settings with the IR, that really sticks that glint tape out. I'm going to be using that on targets when we actually go shoot, but I just stuck a piece on the back fence to kind of give you guys an idea of how that works if you're not familiar with glint tape. Now that is the look through the Arkansas. I am really impressed with the clarity. I mean those houses past the road there, that's several miles away. And that's on 20x, so it does get just a tad grainy, but it's it's 
not bad it's very usable so this next clip is a little bit of low light shooting and some nighttime shooting after the sun goes down now i want to say that i hadn't quite figured out the focus yet so the clarity is not as good as what you're going to see on the next shooting trip all right we are at 350 yards with the zulus i'm using a 6.5 grendel as far as the reticle goes we've got the kill box right now with the red impact 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 okay so the next clip here is after the sun goes down straight night vision no ir and you will notice that i do get the clarity just a little bit better on the focus the other thing that happened is i did have some glint tape on that target we shot it off when we were doing the low light shooting so it's no longer on there you won't see it in the video all right sun has gone down i am now in night vision mode ir up 65 grendel 350 yards impact 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 and we are empty kind of dig it so with the night vision on and this is one of the things that i did want to see as you guys noticed it does blur out or white out the night vision with the muzzle flash it recovers quickly so i think it's still really usable and i'm happy with it this is the next day and i've re-zeroed with a 36 yard zero and uh, as you can see i've got the clarity a lot better okay we're set up at 300 yards um if you guys are watching this on TikTok, I will have the full review on my YouTube channel, but we're running a 36 300 zero, so I should be able to hold that on. Just playing with the Zulus, trying to get a feel for it. Impact. 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 That's not bad for that little zero. Now this is moving out to 820 yards. Now this is also the first thing that I do not like about the standard version Zulus you do not have the ballistic app and you cannot dial in elevation so you can use a holdover which is what i did but if you want to actually be able to program in elevation you have to do that with the version with the laser range finder and ballistic app 820 with a holdover. We're going to give it just a little bit left for wind. Impact. 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 So the next thing that I don't like, and I don't like this a lot, the P-51 
picture that you're looking at here, the target is at 820 yards. And you can obviously tell that the BDC portion of the kill box reticle is not true to the magnification. Arkin, if you're listening, you need to fix that. That could be something as simple as a firmware update to get that sucker true. But right now, as it sits, it makes this reticle unusable. To wrap things up, I would say for a sub $500 day-night digital optic, this thing is sweet. However, the things that I don't like about it. The first one, fix the kill box. The second one is, you know, a lot of us have range finders. We would like to have access on the base model to the ballistic app. Um, that would make things a ton nicer for the base model. And as far as as far as usability goes, I think for what this is designed for, it's fantastic. But guys, if you're intending to use this during the daytime past five six hundred yards i highly recommend getting the model with the range finder and the ballistic app because it does make it a little bit rough trying to use holdovers on the lower magnification to hit targets at distance anyway i hope you guys liked the video we'll be doing a ton more with this optic um, playing with it a lot more over the next few weeks couple of months if you guys like this type of content don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out on the channel thanks for watching